everybody, it's Katerix and welcome back to Antihero. We're gonna get right on into it today. We're gonna do chapter four, Corrupt Clergy. Lightfinger crosses paths with Matilda. The clergy gets involved. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, okay, visit the Lord's house, pay respect to the clergy, befriend fellow supplicants. I guess we'll just stick with normal difficulty because I haven't really had a map yet where I was just allowed to do my own thing. So, uh, we are Lightfinger again, which is pretty cool. So, unsatisfied heiress who plays at being a thief for thrills. Avoid direct conflict. Has a small army of thugs that she uses to block opponents. Okay, so we're gonna see a lot of thugs today. There are five churches around the map. It's a blackmailer's dream. Watch out for Matilda's thugs. Okay, we need five points in order to win. Of course, we don't just have to use the churches, but uh, we have one, we have two, actually, that we can see right away, so that's pretty cool. Let's uh, burgle this. Okay, great, and we might as well, oh, I guess we have to scout this first, so we will do that. And I guess we should probably get right on into buying these urchins. Yeah, that should be alright. Okay, so we can probably put him- we'll put him in the trading house for now so we can get more lanterns. But we will definitely focus on trying to get in these churches, for sure. So let's, uh, skip the turn then. Okay, we will see what Matilda is doing. Oh, an assassination contract, but he's all the way over on Matilda's side, so that's, uh, that's too bad. Grave Scrub Way? I guess that could be a church. I don't know. Oh, maybe- well, there's four- oh, no. All the churches, you can see them. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. All right. So we have lots to do. Let's check out this church so we can start putting an urchin in there. Okay, and then, um, I'm thinking that, okay, assassin, deals six damage to an enemy, then leaves your service. Expensive to hire, use her wisely, buy the sisters upgrade to recruit assassins. Alright, that's an awful lot of damage. I'm thinking that we should, uh, get an additional action for our scout, though. There we go, so we can have him scout this area, and I suppose he can scout this as well. And we do have enough coins here so we can get an urchin in this church so awesome and i believe that is all we can do so we will skip the day or skip the day that is such a such a niche thing to say <laughs> but we will skip the turn and then watch what matilda or matildi i don't even know how to say it correctly but i'm just gonna say matilda but it might be matildi heck if i know but we're just going to discover the churches that are closest to us for sure. Great. And then we should be able to afford yet another urchin. Let's go. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be a pretty long-winded level for sure. So let's scout this area as well. I'm thinking that... Um, hmm... In order, like, because you can get, like, truancy officers, and I'm sure that they can totally screw over your, uh, your victory points here, right? So we may have to do something, like, in terms of assassinations and stuff like that, in order to really get, get some of our points that can't be taken from us, as well as the bribes. Okay, so let's do the gangs. That's what I'm thinking. And then he can, uh... Maybe come along here. He can just stand there for now, I think. And we will kind of skip the turn and we'll we'll check out and scout this area. So we can see what the- I assume these guys are just neutral henchmen. But then our gang should be able to take them out and get some, uh, get some upgrades for themselves. That's what I'm thinking. And she's put her own urchin in that church. Okay, great. And then she came over here and killed that henchman. Or at least somebody did. It could have been her gang. It's possible that it wasn't her. Okay. So I'd love for this guy to get closer to me. That would be fantastic. 
Let's uh, use our gang to get rid of this guy so we can kind of level him up here. Uh, I'm thinking damage is probably the best thing we can do right now. And, oh, I did figure out what this is. From watching my other video, it seems if your Master Thief still has uh, action points left, he, it will be green. But if he doesn't, it will be grayed out. I, I found that out recently. <laughs> so that's good. Good to know. Alright, so scout that, scout that. I want to get closer to this guy over here, and we will definitely try our best to kind of beef up this gang member as well, so we'll have to try and get some thugs or something like that. Uh, let's check our upgrades first before I buy anything. So yeah, two, two lanterns for a thug. Or we could do, we could let our Master Thief do damage. At this point, I'm thinking Master Thief damage is probably better. Great, and then we don't have turns, but let's maybe let's maybe recruit another urchin and we can put him in the church for sure. Alright, so two of three urchins are there. We're getting plus one lanterns per turn and plus one or plus two gold per turn. So we should be able to afford another urchin next turn probably, and then we could get this victory point. And then we'll try and uh, get a saboteur or something as well, so we can uh, keep that safe from a truancy officer. Make sure that uh, that doesn't get taken away from us. Or, or a gang, because gangs can evict too, right? So we'll have to see. Blackmail acquired already? Must be from this church. Well, clearly it's from this church. Wow, I'm actually surprised by that. Okay. So... Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. I can't actually afford anything right now. But let's get... There we go. We will get these lanterns out of the way. And we might as well grab our own... Our own uh, blackmail for sure. This guy can get rid of this guy. And then we can upgrade, I'm thinking his damage again, although I would definitely like to get thugs, so next turn we should be able to afford thugs, because I believe there are two lanterns, and then we can start beefing up our gang here. And, uh, let's, I suppose we can scout this. And I'm thinking that maybe we could start burgling these areas as well. Okay, so we got another lantern for that, so that's pretty cool. And maybe we could come here and burgle this. We'll burgle the stuff that is around what we've already explored. Just so we can get some extra coins and stuff. So let's skip the turn here and let Matilde take her turn. Good. We got, we've got lots of lanterns this time around, which is pretty good. And we'll see what she does. Okay, this guy's getting closer to us, which is really, really good. What is she doing? Leveled up? What the heck? She's doing better than us, I think. <laughs> She's doing a lot better than us. Alright. Let's, uh... Ha 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 We can scout this. Yes, and we should be able to dispatch this guy this turn. Right? So our gang does three damage. We do one, and this guy has four health. So that is at least a victory point that... Matilde cannot take away from us through evicting or anything like that. So there we go, contract complete. Excellent, so let's give him, let's just give him, now let's give him gold. I feel like three damage is pretty decent actually. So let's uh, get through here and we'll burgle this. Alright, and we found a strange fellows club, so that's pretty good too. So now I really want to get the thugs, for sure. And I will use him right away to give our gang more health, our butcher over here. That's fine. And let's get another one of these urchins. And I think I actually want to... Ah, uh, no, I'm going to put him in the church. I was thinking maybe here so I can start getting other lanterns. But I feel like the faster we can finish the level, the better. Right? So, huh. Yeah, that's all we can do. So we will kind of wait out... Wait out this lady's turn here. 
we're at least getting one lantern per turn and I think that we could probably we probably have enough lanterns to get oh a new assassination contract this time he has five health okay so as I was saying I think next turn we could probably uh, unlock the upgrade for the one extra one lantern per turn would be pretty good yeah so the lamp lighter upgrade but we might also want to think about getting explosives because i feel like she's gonna get that truant officer but maybe we can get a truant officer first because i feel like we can evict from from the churches for sure that's what i'm thinking anyway let's get um let's get this guy attacking this guy there we go and we will get our damage up again so we should be able to one-shot this guy hopefully and in the meantime we could probably buy another thug and we can uh yeah we'll join the gang that's what we'll do and we can get our master thief to scout this area can I burgle this there we go so we can kind of reveal that and I haven't really seen any of uh, Matilde's thugs yet. <laughs> yet, for sure. She seems to be staying on this side of the map so far. Here's hoping that this guy doesn't actually go anywhere. But let's get another urchin and we can get our third victory point. Cool. Alrighty. Now I think we should focus on getting more guys in here in the trading house so we can get more lanterns per turn although I, our lanterns are pretty decent actually but uh yeah so let's actually burgle this area too okay we can't actually we didn't actually get anything because that henchman is there that's fine though let's submit our turn good 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 stuff i feel like we're doing pretty good maybe matilde won't win I feel like uh, the difficulty is going to start creeping up on me. Okay, she already got a bribe, so we'll have to we'll have to be careful about that. I think, for sure. What are you trying to do? Oh man, she's evicting us. Oh, what a pain. All right, yeah, I see you. So one of these things must be an orphanage. All right. That's fine, because I'm going to take out this guy. And that is a victory point that she most certainly cannot take away from us. There we go. Actually, I should have done it the other way around so I could upgrade my gang, but that was my fault. That's okay, though. We'll come and we'll burgle this trading house. There we go. And what's the bribe at? It's at 7? Next turn, we should be able to get that. Yeah. In fact, I think I'm going to take two lanterns now. And then... Uh, we still can't pay for the bribe yet. Because we took charity. But next turn, I should be able to grab the bribe and then also possibly... Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Uh, also possibly grab something else. Okay, so. We have one more turn with this guy. Let's, uh... Hmm... I guess we're gonna have to get rid of this this guy right here. Oh, I already used him to attack. Darn it. Okay, let's burgle this. Alrighty, let's... Huh. I'm thinking about getting a thug, and I'm thinking about placing him... Like... Here. And just guarding this. Instead of... Because it's like a three-way street. So instead of, uh, instead of beefing up this guy, so, oh, he has no more actions either. Okay, my bad. All right, we'll get our urchin, we'll get our urchin in the trading house so he can get us uh, some more lanterns, except not yet. We would have to get a third urchin in order to get an extra lantern. Okay, let's finally skip the turn here. We'll see what our opponent does. Hopefully she doesn't completely wreck us because she's doing not too bad either. So I'm thinking, oh, we might have to get this guy too. Huh. Oh, she has a pretty darn strong gang as well. He has five health. Oh my goodness. 
What is she doing? What is she doing? Oh. Oh, that's how you're gonna play. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Let's check our upgrades. We will buy the second uh, bribe. That way she can't get it. And we actually don't have enough. Oh, it looks like you can't get another upgrade. It says that I have four lanterns, but it's not gonna let me buy this, or is it? Oh, I guess it would. Okay, that's that's my bad. I wasn't. I thought because it was like kind of red. Well, I guess it's orange, but that I wasn't able to buy it. But I can. It's just more expensive, so I'm not going to buy it. That makes sense. Okay. Let's get you attacking this guy. There we go. And we can upgrade him. I suppose gold per kill. And then we can get our dude here. I think I want to scout some more. I think that I should maybe try and get myself up to this church. And then maybe I can do some evicting of my own. But of course this guy is in the way as well. So let's actually recruit this. And we will... Uh, we'll infiltrate this. That's fine. And uh, she might come back and evict one of these guys. I'm really not sure. But I think... Uh, where should we scout? Where should we scout? Maybe over here. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. And we could probably scout this as well. And maybe we can come up over here and scout this as well. There we go. So I guess revealing more of the map is always pretty good and uh, I don't think we can move anyone else so let's end the turn see what our opponent does she's already taken two of our victory points away but I think that we could possibly get them back pretty pretty soon I think we can do that maybe if we burgle a couple of buildings we can get enough coins to get two urchins oh well now I would need three wouldn't I oh maybe not yes I would no I wouldn't <gasps> he took out our gang Oh, how rude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We're not doing good anymore. We're not doing good anymore. Oh my. Alright. Oh, they got rid of everyone. Are th Is she going to put an urchin in there too? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, we're buying a gang member, and let's go, I suppose, oh, what should I do? Okay, let's look at our upgrades first, <laughs> okay, and let's see, thugs plus one health, we don't really need that, we don't, we could get the saboteur, yeah, we could get the saboteur, we could maybe do the expert scout for an additional action, reinforced steel could be good. Oh, they're all pretty good. You know what? Let's do the explosives and get the saboteur. Because I think that I should probably trap this thing over here. So let's get our thug to get... Or our gang to get this guy out of the way. There we go. And I feel like I may have, uh, may have messed up getting this thug. Because I feel like this guy's just going to run all the way over here. And uh, take him out again. It might happen... It might not. I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it when it does. If it does. And, uh, huh. Let's burgle this, because I don't seem to have done that yet. And we might as well burgle this, too. There we go. So good. No one's burgled that yet, so we've got some extra coins. Let's get... I'm thinking a thug, and then just, like, parking him right here to get him out of the way. So make sure this guy can't get our gang member. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right. You still have one more turn, so let's burgle this thing over here. All right. Okay. I think we're gonna be all right, guys. Yeah. Alrighty. So... The next bribe is nine lanterns, so I'm thinking that I could possibly grab that before her. Good, trap triggered. How did he even get past? 
I don't understand. I block. I was blocking the way. Did he really come like all the way around here? Cause that would just be weird. All right. Let's see what we can do about this. I think that I could possibly, huh? Let's see, <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking that I wanna get rid of this guy. I'm gonna have to somehow, but how am I gonna do that? I could, I could make my thief have two damage and then my gang still isn't gonna have enough damage to take care of this guy. That's the only thing. We will, Hello. yeah, okay, we're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm thinking maybe I could get rid of this guy and then that will upgrade him Let's go. He'll upgrade his damage, and I won't be able to get rid of this guy this turn, but I could probably take out some of his health this turn, which would be fine. Okay, and let's get you... Should I upgrade the damage? I'm thinking yes. Should I get an additional action, maybe? Oh my gosh! What to do? I really don't know what the best thing to do is. I'm gonna give him extra damage, and I'm going to attack this guy. And then I think I'm going to... Should I burgle this? I don't think I've burgled it yet. Yeah, there we go. Well, I knew that I hadn't burgled it yet, but I don't think that our opponent had burgled it either. So, ha ha ha. Let's get an urchin. <laughs> and put him in here. And I'm sure that they will try to evict me again, but he might take the turn to try and, and get rid of our gang though, because our gang only has two health and he does four damage. That might be a thing. Although maybe we should also spend the money again, just, just, just as a safety precaution for this. All right, we have one more turn. Let's burgle this. Okay, great. All right, so let's submit our turn and cross our fingers that we don't get messed up. We only need one more victory point, so we should be... We should be alright, actually. I think we're gonna get this one, guys. I think we are gonna get this one. Okay, he did take out our gang member. Which was to be expected. I think, anyway. Okay, she's infiltrating things. What else is she doing? <laughs> She doesn't really have the resources to get the other bribe, and I think that we will have the resources to do that. So that'll be pretty good. So we can get that bribe. If we can't get any more churches, we should at the very least be able to get that bribe to win next turn. So he has... well, let's get another gang. <laughs> and we can probably... we can probably hit this guy this once. Right, and then can we use this guy and hit him? We can, but how come it's not letting me buy anything? Oh, I don't have any coins to do it. Okay, let's grab coins from here. There we go. And I should be able to possibly buy a thug. And I think that I am literally just going to park him like, uh, where? Where am I going to park him? This, I'm not sure. Maybe it was a bad idea to do that. Maybe I should just have him join up with this guy. This guy can attack this guy. There we go. We can probably... I probably just wasted my gold again beefing this guy up. Now that I'm really thinking about it. But I think that we have the game anyway next turn. We'll buy the final bribe. We should be fine. So let's get the damage. And let's get you, hmm, maybe we can get you over here and you can burgle this. There we go, and can you burgle this? Is there a henchman there? Yeah, but that's okay. I don't have any more actions, oh goodness, okay. Uh, let's get an urchin, let's just get an urchin over here. Because we might as well attempt to get the, this, uh, this, oh, it, this is the blackmail. The churches are the blackmail, this envelope is the bribery. So I think next turn we should be able to buy the bribe. I think we got that, because she does not have enough lanterns. The bribe is nine. 
and if not we should be able to work on this church hopefully hopefully this guy will just hit up this and get all stunned again if not he's taking out our our gang member for sure but let's submit our turn We get a lot of lanterns and stuff. We're doing pretty well up here. Our gold, not as much, because I seem to be running out of it. I definitely need more, <laughs> but yeah, you know what? I expected that. I ex Actually, I expected him to take out our gang member, but I'm really glad that he didn't. So that's okay that he took out that church because I'm winning this, uh, this turn anyways. So haha, -ha, take that. Trap triggered! Gotcha! There we go. Excellent! So guys, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We got the final bribe, which means we won victory! Yay! Okay, so I think for today, I am going to leave it at that because these levels actually take a little bit longer than I thought. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We will do chapter five next time. Bye guys.